Bronny James, man, we about to talk about it, boy. We about to talk about what's been going on in the summer league. Let's go. Hit that like button right quick. Hit that like button right quick. Bronny James just played his fourth game. We about to get into it. I'm going to give you two seconds to hit that like button. Listen, man. Bronny James, zero for 25. I'm going to repeat that. Zero for... For 25 from the three-point line in four games. Uh, the Lakers Summer League, that team had five games, but he sat out the second one because he didn't want to do back-to-backs, but after him getting, like, scrutinized for it and criticized for sitting out his second game, he's been playing all of them, but he's code from the three like I know I would at least hit five of them he's zero for 25 like he made five field goals from the field and within four games he's like five for 30 from the um field people saying he's nervous people saying he's just warming up I seen him practice like outside of the game. He's he's pretty decent when nobody's guarding him. I'm not gonna lie, but just him going off from 25 from the three is is making me reevaluate my life. Like I feel like if I would have stayed in school and not dropped out in the 10th grade, that I would I could make the NBA. I was number one point guard in Atlanta when I was in eighth grade. And that was the last time I really played organized basketball was my eighth grade year. So I'm thinking if I would have stuck with school, I think I would have made the league. Like 0 for 25, I know I would have hit five, six of them things. Mandatory minimum. Y'all catch what I'm saying to y'all, man? So he got a few more games of the Summer League. I do think it's good. I do think it's good that he did the Summer League and not just shot 0 for 25 when the season started in October. So, like, he could get all them air balls out of his system now, and then maybe by October, November, he'll be, you know, a little knock, knocking them down a little more. Hey man, this ain't this ain't no. I'm just I'm just analyzing the game. And LeBron James, my favorite player of all time. I ain't trying to be beefing with the James family, man. But man, I just had to report on this, man, because this really made me reevaluate and rethink my whole life, man. I should have stayed in school. This man, man, do y'all feel like? Oh, man, do y'all feel like it's, like, privileged that he's in the league right now? How y'all feel? How y'all feel, Chuck? Y'all feel like, because he was, he was all right in high school. Like, before the whole cardiac heart problem um, in college, where he averaged four points a game in, at USC. I, before, when he was at Sierra Canyon and all that, he was, I think he was coming off the bench, but he looked like he had a bright future, semi. Bryce is the truth, though. Bryce, Bryce is going top 20 pick for next year's draft. Is he a senior, Chad? I think he's a senior. No, he's a junior. Let me know what Bryce is. I think he's a junior or about to be a senior. Um, but yeah, he got Bryce. He's going top twenty, easy. He's him. Um, like, um, Aunt Carmelo Anthony's son, Cayenne, who's about to go to Syracuse. Like, they got bright. They got a bright NBA future. But Bronny, man, we gotta figure this out, man. Like, I'm a Lakers fan. I'm hoping they win the chip, but we got to figure this out, man.